Welcome everybody to another music class with Mrs. T. I am here to really quickly review what we talked about yesterday in our video. If you watched the video yesterday, we had a little bit of technical difficulties, but thank you for getting through that anyway. I appreciate you guys for checking that out. What we talked about is we read the story of Peter and the Wolf. After we read the story, you had a special assignment to go in the description of the video and click on the next link and watch a performance of the music of Peter and the Wolf. The music was performed by the Vancouver Symphony and the story was told through the music and as well it was narrated by the conductor of the Vancouver Symphony. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you got to listen to it. If you didn't get to listen to it, I've included the link again in the description below for that video. So you wanna make sure you go check it out. If you haven't checked it out, pause this right now and go check it out. That way you're up to date on the music that we're gonna be talking about today. So. The music of the story is filled with all kinds of things. It's filled with lots of high and low and quick and fast and slow sounds. It's filled with all different instruments as the orchestra plays the music. But especially each character has their own instrument that represents them. For example, in our story, the wolf is represented by the French horns. In our story, the duck is represented by the clarinet. Peter is represented by the strings. Grandfather is represented by the bassoon. So those are just a few examples of the instruments that were used in the orchestra to show you and to demonstrate those characters from our story. Now, what we're gonna do now is I wanna talk about something. I wanna talk about our goal for today. So our goal is I can identify moods that can be found in music and connect them to our characters in Peter and the Wolf. Now the first challenge is can you identify moods? What's a mood? I don't know, we're gonna find out. All these types of things are gonna be found in music, but specifically the music we're talking about and the story we're talking about is Peter and the Wolf. So we're going to get jumped in to ideas about moods. So I'm going to show you a few examples and I want you to try and guess what moods each of these symbols represents. Are you ready? Can you guess it? This one is silly. This is a silly mood. Next we have Oh man, cheeks are red. This one is what? Embarrassed. Embarrassed. Sometimes I get embarrassed. It's okay, everybody does. The next one is um What is this one? Sleepy, very nice, sleepy. Hmm. What's this one? You got it sad. What about? Hmm. What's this one? Nervous. Sometimes I feel nervous before I teach because I don't know how it's going to go. Get ready. Get ready for the next one. What is this one? Excited. Very good. So these were a bunch of different moods. And sometimes you wonder, what music could these moods go with? I'm going to play a little bit of music for you guys real quick. I want you to see if you can tell what mute the music is. While I'm doing this, I want you guys to move with me and see if you can show me with your body what mood you think this music is.
coming out of the sky with one long horn and one big eye. Hi, come Mr. Shaking in the city. It looks like a purple people eater to me. It was a one-eyed, one-horn flying purple people eater. One-eyed, one-horn flying purple people eater. A one-eyed, one-horn flying purple people eater. Sure looks strange to me. Well, fantastic job. So I just want to talk a little bit about the assignment for you guys. So what's going to happen is all those different moods we talked about, all the different moods that you know of in music, I want you to go back. We're going to create something now, okay? So you're with your piece of paper and your pencil and your colors. Here's what I want you guys to do. You are going to draw one character, you're gonna draw one character from our story and draw him in his mood, okay, or her mood. Whichever character you draw, I want you to put details in the picture that tell me the mood of the character, okay? Now, if you need to go back and listen to the song, it's below, in the link below, you can find the performance of the story and you can pick out a character and instrument. I'm gonna show you guys my character that I chose and my drawing of the character. see I chose to draw the wolf so if you look at the details on my picture I added some things to make you kind of get an idea of his mood and if you remember listening to the French horns as they play his played his theme you'll notice that they did sound sign of dark and grumpy and growly and loud so I added his paw in there like he's clawing I added some claw marks in my paper I also think he's probably grumpy and loud and growling because he was what? Mm. If he hasn't had lunch yet, he's probably, his mood is that he's hungry. So I drew his little tongue sticking out of his mouth like he's ready to eat something. And his big long fangs and he kind of still has that grumpy look on his face with his eyebrows. So whatever character you pick, you could pick the duck, the bird, Peter, Grandpa, the wolf, the cat. You can pick any of those characters and I want you to draw me a picture and show their mood. My mood that I picked for the wolf is that he was grumpy and hungry. And I tried to show that as best as I could as my, in my picture. So that's your assignment for today. When you get off the video, I want you to give me a picture identifying a character from our story in their mood. Let's really quickly go over our goal for today to make sure that we got it done. So our goal for today, guys, was I can identify moods that can be found in music. If you dance along with me and you, you thought about those emojis and those moods that we talked about, you did that. And then I can connect them to our characters on Peter and the Wolf. If you got your picture and you've got a character on there and I can see that it's got a mood to it and it's got a, a an emotion to your picture and some details, I love it. That's what I want to see. So that means you were able to identify a character and the mood based on the music in the story. Nice job. To submit your picture, go on Dojo and I've can, included it in a portfolio site portfolio assignment for you guys so go on dojo you can submit your picture there and i can see some of y'all's guys really creative artwork from our story thanks so much for watching have a great rest of your day bye